Hi guys, in this episode of Ready K, I'm going to be reacting to the debut of the second subunit of Astro, aka the Jinjin and Rocky, the rappers of Astro's uh, debut. And I'm curious uh, with how crazy or hard hitting this song is going to be, because they are the rappers of Astro, but in most Astro songs, uh, obviously they don't necessarily they're not necessarily able to go as hard as they probably could because of the general tone and the general style that Astro's music tends to be. They do go hard, don't get me wrong, it's just that I feel like if they are, were not constrained by the kind of boy next door style that Astro does, I feel like they could be much more impactful, at least in my opinion, you know? But still, we'll see how uh, good they are going to be on their own in this song, which I'm pretty excited to get into. So without further ado, let's get into it. In three, two, one. I genuinely didn't even know what to expect from this. I really like how average they look uh, in this music video, like they don't really look uh, like like they have a lot of makeup, you know? I especially like how uh, Rocky looks, like he genuinely looks like he just wake up, he walk up. I definitely did not expect this to be this playful though. I was wondering whether it would be, because like I said, I didn't know what to expect. But I, I definitely did not expect it to genuinely go in a playful direction. But yeah, I'm actually liking it quite a lot. Dropping is definitely catchy. Probably some of the catchiest rapping from them that I've heard. I'm assuming they wrote most if not all of these themselves because they are rappers and they do write the lyrics from what I remember. So if that is the case, I really want to face how creative and funny it seems. Both the music video, the choreo, and the song itself. Yeah, I feel like this music video really solidifies uh, Rocky as my bias. Oh, the chorus really slaps, dude. Jeez, this is a crazy music video. Okay, I think this might be my favorite Astro song since uh, since one, I would say. Or I guess it might be uh, since that other song, who, uh, which uh, name I forgot. Give me a second to uh, remember it. It's either my favorite uh, song from Astro. Uh, since one or since always you because i think i uh, reacted to always you last year so it's definitely up there i like it quite a lot it's fun it's playful it's catchy as, as hell 
and the chorus is really uh, hype and energetic and I, I enjoy it, I enjoy it quite a lot. And yeah, it's a really fun and creative song and I, I feel like I actually like it more than I thought I would because even though I thought it was going to be definitely a good song, I did not expect it to be this catchy. Especially considering the kind of song that it is, that it's more of like a, a screwing around, a having fun kind of song. Uh, I did not expect it uh, to be this catchy because I obviously, like you guys may know, uh, I like the more serious or more dark songs. Even uh, when it comes from Astro, like my favorite songs of theirs are songs like One, like I said, or Always You. That is probably uh, my favorite Astro song because it's their best song in their own style, you know, that they do, which is like the more soft kind of boy next door kind of vibe that they have. Uh, other songs of theirs that I like are Breathless and uh, Crazy Sexy Cool. And this song is more of like uh, screwing around, just being kind of uh, silly, which usually doesn't really uh, entertain me that much. It tends to be more annoying than uh, catchy to me, but this one is genuinely really catchy and I really like it. And I honestly even just want to listen to it one more time, so let's just get into it again in three two, one. You also have them sing a little bit, which is really cool, because I haven't really... I feel like they haven't really made much of an impact uh, to me with their vocals so I'm glad that this song actually allows them to do that, you know? Because I think Rocket's vocals are actually underrated And the core is really catchy as well. Ooh, those food moves though. Yeah, this is definitely uh, some of my favorite dropping from them. It's also so funny and I love it. I love this dude. It's so good. It's so quirky and I love it. There's probably a lot of uh, play on words that I'm missing in this song as well. Man, this is such a funky song. Yeah, this is in general one of Astro's best songs. They also have such a funny chemistry, I love it. This definitely reminds me of the kind of chaotic energy that Stray Kids have. So I really like it. I honestly wish uh, Astro has done uh, has done this kind of song earlier. Because this is really cool. Okay, 
I'm honestly kind of curious what kind of songs might be hiding in the b-sides of this, so maybe I could check that out at some point uh, in the future, but depends on uh, a lot of things honestly when I will have the time uh, to do that, because I already have like three album reactions planned for early February, and there is like at least three or four more that I personally want to check out because of the groups that they are from, because I haven't reacted to B-sides from 80s, Stray Kids, uh, Dreamcatcher and Everglow for their latest uh, albums, and I want to do that. And I've promised already to do reactions to uh, B2B um, and 17 and Uptensions uh, most recent albums as well. So there's a lot of albums coming up. And I also have to uh, release the next uh, Astro album reaction uh, at some point, but that's probably going to be somewhere after that. So if I do do reactions to this, it's probably going to be after all those albums. So maybe late February, early March, you can expect a reaction to the b sides of this. But maybe if you guys are really, really adamant, we might uh, pull this one sooner and instead push the uh, Astro album reaction uh, uh that I still have to do uh, further in instead of uh, this. So yeah, it's gonna be up to you guys, I guess. Uh, sh tell me in the comments whether you want to see this sooner or uh, uh, an album reaction to the next album uh, that I have to check out. But yeah, going back to this song itself, I like it. Like I said, it's a really fun, it's a really quirky, and it's a really entertaining and catchy song. I genuinely really, really like it. Um, in terms of a rating, I'm also going to give it a 10 out of 10. I did not expect this to be as entertaining as it is. I did not expect it to be bad because it's Astro after all. But like I said, I just did not expect to be as into this as I am. I thought it might have been at best maybe mildly interesting and maybe I would have enjoyed several parts of it because it is coming from the rappers and as a fan of rappers, uh, uh, mostly for rappers, I was primed to enjoy this, but I still did not expect it to be as entertaining, especially even as it started out, you know, because it instantly had the vibe of uh, more of like a funny and playful kind of song, which like I've said before, I enjoy those kind of songs, but the number one thing that I enjoy in K-pop is the dark and edgy and hard-hitting kind of songs. That's why groups like Stray Kids and 80s are my number one, you know? So. I was a little surprised by how catchy I ended up finding this song, you know? I really enjoyed it, and yeah, I'm going to give this one a 10 out of 10. It was a really fun song. I really enjoyed it. But yeah, what did you guys think about this song? Comment down below, and let's have a discussion about it. And also, before we end this video, I just want to give a huge shout out to my currently two patrons on Patreon, Omar Bridgman and Deadpool. Thank you guys for your support, I really appreciate it, it really means a lot to me to have decided to support me, and I hope you, to, uh, you continue to enjoy my content and continue to support me going forward. Thank you very much. And now, before we end this video, I just want to talk about something uh, to you guys very quickly, um, which some of you may or may have not noticed before or know about me, that being the fact that I am trans. And yes, this may come uh, as shocking uh, to some of you because I don't really flaunt it that much on my channel, or at least I feel like I don't. Um, outside of like my K-pop reactions, which is where I feel like the most comfortable being myself like this. And yeah, I am in fact trans. Um, I'm not necessarily full on uh, male to female, but I heavily want to transition to being pretty female. I do consider myself more non-binary though, or maybe gender fluid would be the best descriptor as well, because I do have occasional moments where I feel fine being like just a normal guy, but most of the time, like right now, I do feel very dysphoric. Um, and that's why I'm asking you guys for any help that you can give me, because my situation right now, I... I don't really see any way out of outside of you guys' help because and this is gonna be kept short and concise I live with my parents they're never going to accept me as a trans person they, they just never will and as a matter of fact back when I started the YouTube channel I was actually kind of 
slightly starting my transition back then with like starting to grow out my hair um, I even got to DIY HRT but because my parents started noticing certain things like uh, uh, my behavior had changed a lot and my clothes had changed a lot I kind of had to stop doing that because they were constantly nagging me about cutting my hair and just started to kind of be threatening in a certain way and felt like they were ashamed of me and everything and that just kind of that kind of stress just tired me out to the point where I just gave up but as dysphoria goes it just doesn't go away you know I still feel like this and in fact it's somewhat been intensifying again recently so I just wanted to share this with you guys and again I would really appreciate any amount of support you can give me in regards to this because um, I just don't see any way out of this because even if I mo uh, moved out of my parents house and got my, myself a job and everything that's just not gonna work for long-term uh, planning because once I transition it's like I probably will not be able to get myself a job because my country is very transphobic nobody gives a shit about LGBT people at all so there's not even much I can do even in terms of transitioning here so yeah I don't know I just would appreciate any amount of support you can give me uh, be it monetarily or in any way otherwise and this is not about uh, boosting my channel or anything or guilt tripping you with my sob story I just wanted to get this off my chest and make my subscribers aware of the situation that I am in and that I would appreciate anything that you guys can help me out with it would mean literally everything like for example uh, a friend that I made after starting this YouTube channel my good friend Yuri has been helping me out a lot and I genuinely might have not been here if it wasn't for him if it wasn't for him showing up and befriending me so yeah this just went a little bit longer than I, I intended but I would just uh, really appreciate anything you can support me with that's kind of ultimately what I'm trying to say and yeah Hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please leave a like, subscribe, also check out the link in the description to my Twitter if you don't follow me over there and to my Wattpad to post my stories, because in addition to doing all these videos on my channel, I'm also a writer. And if you don't enjoy my stories or you simply enjoy my videos, you can head over to my Patreon or to my Coffee account where you can pledge your support and help get the channel going, help support me so I can keep writing the stories you enjoy. But if you don't want to do it, that's completely fine. You can still help me out in other ways like liking this video, subscribing to the channel, and especially sharing this video with someone who you think might enjoy it. And I think it's pretty much it for this video, so hopefully I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye!